Hello everybody, my name is Michael Gray, and this is my video walkthrough for Death at Copy Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel. In this video, I will go through chapter number four. Luckily for me, Pedro was eager to show me around the estate. The manor was just beyond the vineyards. Could the answer to the mystery be there? Dana and Pedro are going to break into the Aldama estate and hopefully solve the mystery. So let's see, we have a scarecrow here with a glove and a bucket, but we want the broom. We can't get the broom. We want the broom, but we can't get the broom right now. All right, I go back here, fill the bucket with water. And I am going to use it in two places. Here. And here. Cool! We found a time capsule that uh, Gabriella left. Gabriella, the murdered woman, she conveniently left a time capsule for us to find. Nice! Did she know ahead of time? Over here, Miss Nightstone. Let's check if there's anyone inside the mansion. The window is dusty. Got anything to clean it? I was going to ask, did she know ahead of time that she was going to be killed? Because it's very convenient she left that time capsule. So let's look inside the window. Clean it off with a handkerchief. Sir, so I picked up the crates of wine after my morning delivery. You weren't around, so I left your keys on the shelf above the barrels. Obrigado. I don't know what accent that was, but hey, the keys are in here. Oh, it's too dark. Oh, and we have bad fuses. Okay, we can find fuses over here. But first, let's get some wine, because wine is delicious. Ah, uh, Dana Nightstone. I, I mean, she comes here to spy on Richard Aldama and his family, and she ends up cleaning up his shed. She's really nice. So what else am I looking for? Uh, give me a hint here. There? There. Okay. So we have empty bottles, which is useful. Ooh, there's a gear, there's a gear, there's a gear. Wait, those aren't gears. Those are fuses, which is good because we need them. Let's see, we need to use the glove here to get those fuses. Oh, and the lid slams down. Use the branch to prop this open so you can get all of the wonders inside, like this thing and a candy cane and a a flower, a flower, and a throwing star, a slingshot, a sticker, army man, bunny rabbit, car, butterfly, dinosaur, pinwheel, rocking horse, and for the plane you have to open this thing and grab the scissors, use the scissors on the plane. And we get a pencil! Why? Did we pick up a pencil from that area? I don't remember doing that. Pedro, what are you up to? I'll stay here and keep a lookout, while you go search for the keys to the manor. Right, you be here and not help at all. Thanks, Pedro, that's a great plan. Put the fuses here for a puzzle. What you want to do is get all of the lines to match up perfectly. So, for example... Those lines match up perfectly there. Those ones are perfect. Looks like that's perfect. That's good. That's good, so the first two columns are fine. No, this one's here, and that one's there. That's like that.
and that's our solution. So now we can go inside and find the key right here, out of reach. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Well, I would just pull on this thing to make it fall down, but I guess Dana is not that destructive. What's this? B562. Aha, aha, aha! I know what that is. B562. You really should put the password somewhere other than right next to the safe. Just saying, Mr. Aldama. Just saying. So this gives us a bunch of things which we can use. Fantastic. Pedro? I'll stay here and keep a lookout while you go search for the keys to the manor. Good plan, Pedro. Good plan. So what am I doing? I am going back here. I can use the wrench to get the faucet. And I can use the needle nose pliers here. To fix the key, and there we go. This is Gabriella's time capsule. We have several things here. I like this puzzle. What you have to do is find all of the things you're looking for and put them where they're supposed to go. So let's see, this is a sewing kit. We need to find everything for the sewing kit. Okay, that's the postcard with a stamp. We need to tape it together. Okay, that's a picture. That goes there. That goes there. We will tape it together for a picture. It looks like Gabriella and some strange woman. I've been crossing paths often with this woman lately, and I'm not sure why. Who is she? You don't know this woman, and you have a picture of yourself taken with her? Creepy. Um, let's see. This is a ring. Put the diamond here to get a diamond ring. This is a blade, pick it up with the gloves. Right, sewing kit is almost complete. Use it on the handkerchief to get the handkerchief. And use the key on the diary in order to find the lighthouse. Ever since I got married to Joel, I've noticed some strange behavior among the other ladies in town. One of them in particular keeps staring at me. I've asked around and her, her name is Monica. What's going on? I don't know. So Monica, Monica. Did she look familiar to you guys? Because she sort of looks like the woman that Joel Odama married after Gabriella died. At least that's what I think. I think she looks like, like the person that uh, Joel married. So, what am I doing with my knife? I am grabbing this broom. And the rope. Yeah, rope is fantastic, too. Okay, broom over here to get the key. Oh, oh, ow! Oh, it fell in the wine. Oh, Dana! Okay, put the faucet here and then empty the wine into the bottles. Right, we have the key and half of the ruler. Huh. Suddenly, a familiar face. It was Richard Aldama. He had spotted Pedro. Pedro! Poor Pedro. I couldn't believe Richard locked him up. I had to get him out. Let me out! I can't breathe! Help! Oh no! Pedro is locked in the door with... No discernible lock whatsoever. Wait, how is he locked inside there? Whatever. Put the stool there and then look here. Let me out! Oh, it's you, Miss Nystone. Shh. Listen. I dropped my glass cutter outside the window when that no good Richard Aldama caught me. Well, you were sort of trespassing on his property. Uh, I don't blame Richard for this one. Okay, glass cutter, but you'll notice 
It is a blunt glass cutter. It cannot cut glass. So why does Pedro just carry a blunt glass cutter around with him wherever he goes? That's strange. Sharpen it on the rock, and then use the glass cutter. Open the window and use the rope. Thank you, Miss Nightstone. Quick, enter the manor before that no good Richard Aldama comes back. And I believe that's it. I'll guard the area while you search for the museum keys. Don't worry, this time I'll be more careful and we'll hide in the bushes. Okay, yep, that's it, everybody. That is the end of chapter number four of Death at Cape Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel. <laughs>